you have a paper jam or a no paper error displayed, we need to check the software and the printer. Let's check the printer first. To do that, we need to locate the sensor. The sensor can be found by releasing the print head and sliding the ribbon out of the way. Now we should be able to identify the sensor. It's a little black bracket about one inch wide with two holes in it that are about the size of a BB. In this case, I placed a pot tag into the printer to help identify it. Just to give you a closer look, we've removed the sensor from the printer. Now you can see the two sensors. One on the left towards the inside of the printer and one on the right towards the outside of the printer. The sensor on the right reads the notches that are cut into the tags. So this would be the proper position for pot tags, as well as slip-on tags. For pressure sensitive labels, we want the sensor on the left to be completely over a label. It's going to read the gaps in between each label. This is the knob that adjusts the sensor, clockwise or counterclockwise. When printing tags, the sensor in this position would indicate a paper jam. The sensor in this position would indicate a no paper. Remember, we want the sensor on the right to be in line with the notches of the tags as they travel through the printer. The sensor on the left should be off the tags completely. To adjust the sensor, spin the sensor knob. Spinning the sensor clockwise moves the sensor to the right. Spinning the sensor counterclockwise moves the sensor to the left. Now that we've established that your sensor is in the correct position, yet you still have a paper jam or no paper error, the next step would be to calibrate the printer. To calibrate for tags, pot tags, or slip-on tags, the first step would be to remove the tags from the printer completely. To calibrate for pressure-sensitive labels, the first step would be to remove the labels from the printer. Then tear off about an 8-inch section of labels from the roll. Then remove the labels from the backing sheet. So you have a piece of backing paper about eight inches long like this. Place the backing sheet back into the printer, making sure you're beneath both the sensor holes. Now we're ready to calibrate. Turn the printer off, and while holding down the feed and pause buttons, turn the printer back on. This will put the printer into diagnostic mode. Tap the restart button twice to sensor adjustment, and then tap the pause key three times to transmissive. Then press and hold down the restart button until you get an asterisk in the display. Then tap pause. If sensor adjust displays, turn the printer off. You're calibrated. If PE level R appears, tap the pause button once and that'll change it to PE level T. Then press and hold down the restart button until you get another asterisk. Then tap pause. Sensor adjustment will appear and you're calibrated. Turn the printer off. So if we know we have the sensor in the correct position, and we know we're calibrated correctly, the next step would be to look at the software settings. 